Greetings, Diocese of Olympia and all those watching. As we gather for that annual ritual we call Thanksgiving with family and friends, I wish the happiest of times for you and yours. While Thanksgiving is not specifically religious in its creation, for us Christians, people of faith, that word evokes or perhaps should something different than it might for those who do not have faith. For us, we realize again the very real belief that we own nothing that all comes into our hands by God, and that the things the world says we own really are only ours to steward, to care for, and even more to share. This is everything in our lives, including our citizenship. None of us deserve to be born into this country over another. The fact that we have should be honored by us, I certainly do, but I think it also should hold us to a higher standard. You might think about that in these days. Instead, we too often just hold on to our citizenship as a possession and in the process far too often hoard it, hold it so tightly we can begin to believe that we deserved birth here in this place and that those that did not somehow are less. Prosperity theology it is called, the belief that those that are good to God and to what God asks will be more prosperous, rich. Mostly this philosophy is based on economic wealth but I think it rears its ugly head in other ways, like our stations in life, the places we're born, representing somehow a preferred status in life. It's a totally bogus theology. There's absolutely nothing about the nature of God that supports it. Yet our world, our country, capitalism itself majors in this philosophy. So our thanksgiving as Christians is supposed to be different from that. We don't own anything. When we are baptized, we give ownership by the world standards away. That doesn't always get shared in baptismal preparation, but it's so. The entire gospel revolves around the idea that to know, understand, and feel the incredible, unconditional way God gives to us, we have to also give back. In fact, I would argue the gospel is filled with stories, parables, and icons to the reality that it's impossible to love and not give. To be thankful, to love, one has to give. At Thanksgiving, we express our gratitude for all we've been entrusted with to steward, certainly the material goods that make our lives more comfortable, but much more importantly, those we love in our lives and those who love us. We are called to give to them and care for them too. So I say Happy Thanksgiving, and I hope you will have time today, surrounded by friends and family, to reflect on all that has come to you to steward in your life, to be thankful for the people and ways that make your life rich, but equally to pray for those who do not have nearly as much to be thankful for, who struggle daily, and then most importantly, to make a commitment to a new action in your life, to do something about that. It could be small or big, but prayer for and about such things cannot simply end in the words put before God. They have to be calls to action to us as well. Too often we don't take that third step, the plan, what you will do tomorrow to better the world. Enjoy Thanksgiving, but come out of it with more than just a full stomach and a satisfied feeling. Come out of it with a plan, an action, that might make another person's and maybe even the world's coming days a little better. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone, and may you see, know, and feel God's amazing love in your life.